Hello everybody. Hello. We are the unseen couple from a little known show called uh, Married at First Sight. Um, and this is our story. Yeah, we just thought we, we've had quite a lot of interest because um, the experts have been talking about us and the other couple that sadly didn't get married and we've had lots of questions and Paul already has a YouTube channel so we thought why not? Yeah we thought why not? Let's um, let you into our lives a little bit. <laughs> Sorry it's our dog. <laughs> our wedding was supposed to be on the 22nd of March 2020 and if all of you remember yeah, your history. We would have been married for a year on, almost then. I know. Oh my gosh. And um, as, as some of you out there will remember quite dramatically, Boris Johnson put the country into a bloody lockdown, didn't he? Because of that, that, that thing, that C word that's floating about in the world at the moment. Um, so our wedding got cancelled. Um, we were both devastated, by the way. Yeah, we're, Obviously, we're, we're we had well. the upset of coronavirus like everyone else. But mentally, we had prepared ourselves to get married. And when they cancelled it, we didn't know if they would let us meet. So we had that additional upset of thinking, OK, I was just about to meet this chosen, most perfect partner for me. Will I ever meet them? And we were both mm. really upset because of that, weren't we? Yes. Um, Especially me. It's it's really weird unless you put yourself in this position, um, by where you're putting your faith in someone else to find someone for you, and you're going to marry them. You start like building up all of these feelings for that person. Like and we both took marriage really seriously. We, I went into it thinking that this is forever. Yeah. And you did too, didn't you? We didn't go into it thinking that it might not work. I think you have to have that op optimistic mindset to think this this is going to work. We weren't, we weren't doing it just to be on TV or anything. We were doing it for the right reasons. And um, yeah, I, I quite early on, like after it had sunk in, started having feelings for this girl I've never met. So yeah, when, when they cancelled it, it was like, well, fuck, are you going to let me... Meet her. Meet her, <laughs> at least. Like... <laughs> And then eventually, like after a couple of days of indecision, because um, they were gonna marry it, marry us, just me and you, and one witness each, and then yeah, there was they a uh, massive roller coaster of emotions. There was no the like the plan was changing like frequently every every day, and then like you know every hour like things were changing. So yeah, we both we both said that we'd still get married just. The two of us and a witness each um but yeah we eventually like got talking to him was he <laughs> sorry it's our dog <laughs> we eventually got um the production company to um, allow us to allow us to meet and it was via skype um and we actually have the footage from our handy cams of us meeting for the first time by Skype, which is really lovely because we've got the recordings of ourselves just before we're about to f visually meet each other. Um, and I remember I looked like I was going to vomit just <laughs> just before the just before the the um, laptop answered the call. I thought I was going to be sick. <laughs> I think I think we were both extremely nervous, um, but yeah, no. Maybe in the next video we'll uh, let you see us meeting for the first time on Skype. Um, it be kind of like from our handy cam yeah. point of and view. Yeah, we don't want this just to be about the married at first pro first sight process or what we went through or anything like that. We don't want it just to be about that because obviously this is something that's going to be forever now. So if you guys have got any questions or suggestions or things that you might want to see from us please please do um but yeah we've been together over nine months now about nine and a half months mm -hmm. um we've not had any um any sort of spotlight on us other than we did like a magazine and that's been quite nice because we can just you know carry on without any sort of mm. media 
uh, involvement in any way, which I've actually really enjoyed. You would I'm, I'm very happy with who I've been matched with. Uh, Paul, um, Jen and Angela have done a great great job putting us two together because we uh, we complement each other very well. We're both like quite nutty, adventurous, out there. It's good. And also, there was... The uh, things I lack, you have, and the things you lack, I have, exactly. I feel. That I think that coming together, we are really helping each other grow as well, because like, I'm quite low in confidence, um, and I'm quite shy, whereas Paul is so confident. And like I, I don't... I, I feel really comfortable with you, and because you love and care for me is making me feel more like having more belief in myself oh. and I think with you um like some of the things that you you've lacked in in like organizing a bit and stuff like that I'm not really um, good at organizing now. yeah like I, I help him with those sort of things that and you make me lunch and I, and I make you lunch a little pack lunch sometimes with a love note in it it's lovely <laughs> you love that <laughs> That's yeah, nice. And also the other thing, like that you can see his arse here. Come here. Come here, you oh, bloody hell you're fat now, aren't you? <laughs> We've so, been feeding him too much. <laughs> so yeah, um <laughs> this little fella was also Gonna be on TV, weren't you, Ozzy? Gonna be on TV. Um This is our baby, Ozzy. This is our baby Ozzy. He is my my dog. Um and I was I was actually quite he's worried. Mine, he's mine now, is mine. Oh no, he's your dog now. Yeah. Like you're his mummy now. I'm mummy. Yes, um, but I was quite worried about him um, and Ali getting on because um, obviously you don't know if she likes dogs but you kind of hope after you've said about 20 million times she's got to like dogs that the experts would do that. Um, they did call and check with me a few times, do you like dogs? I said yeah, they said do you prefer dogs to cats? I 100% prefer, prefer dogs to cats. The experts 100% got it right. Um, Starting a relationship in lockdown though, in coronavirus, you know, we didn't even have a date, our first date for four months. Um, so, I yeah, we've had a very interesting journey. Yeah. And, you know, our story of how we got together is, is so wonderful and romantic and it's definitely one that I forget most of the time that, you know, that we were matched by experts for a television show and all of that, but it's pretty incredible. and. Only a few people ever go through that experience. Exactly, exactly. And we've um, managed to connect with the um, two couples that were on the television show um, and the, also the other couple that were like us in the same position where their wedding got cancelled as well because of Covid. And it's just so nice because they've gone through what we've gone through. Yeah, uh, we're, we're like kind of a support network in our own yeah. way, um, which is nice, like all of us together. I've been through the same experience and it's nice to have people to talk to. Um, and three out of the four couples are still together. Exactly, they've had a 75% success. success rate of this series. Um, and yeah, like we can't actually thank the experts enough for putting us together and uh, making, making, making sure that everything we wanted was, um, was a reality. So yeah. I, it's been quite an easy ride, hasn't it? And it has. Um, so, yeah, that's that's an introduction into us, the unseen couple, Paul and Ellie. Um, you can follow us on our social media. We'll put links in the old description. Um, and we've also got a unseen couple um, Insta where we'll kind of like maybe put stories up and stuff. So go give that a follow as well. Um, yeah. There's Spread so the word. More, there's so much more to obviously cover and go through, but we don't want to, you know, waffle on too much <laughs> in the first video. So um, we'll we'll just continue to. So, I mean, Paul. Put some more videos out soon of um, the three of us, um, and like we'll go back in time and show you like the footage from our like handy cam diary cams um, yeah. of like when we were actually getting ready to get married. So you can see the journey we went through, and uh, yeah subscribe and follow our journey into the future where hopefully robots don't take over the world. <laughs> 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 Cut. Hey.